Are you worried about the existence theory? From where we come and where we will go? You are not alone in this. Robert Lawrence Kuhn, the creator, writer, and host of Closer to Truth, a public television series, is also with you. He was obsessed with existence. What is existence? And what's the extent of existence? What's the purpose of existence? After decades of research, he only found a theory where the possible chances of finding the answers to all questions, and that is multiverse. As the name suggests, our universe is one of many universes. This is one of the most bizarre ideas, but bizarreness alone is no reason to reject a theory, a theory of Mr. Stephen Hawking. If you find out that you are not alone, many people like you are doing the same as you are, found on different planets. This is exciting and scary as well. Want to know all about the multiverse? Elon Musk also has something to say about the existence of parallel universes. Stick to the video to the end as we are running quickly through what the metaverse is and what the reality is, and how Elon Musk finally explains Stephen Hawking's terrifying multiverse theory. Before moving towards the parallel universe and finding our other versions, let me remind you to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Before finding out Elon's thoughts on multiverse, Let's discuss the timeline of multiverse. Some scientists and researchers define the universe as all there is or all that exists. Obviously, there can be only one universe on this base, but others define Earth based on external inflation and the Big Bang. According to them, the universe is all we can ever see or space-time regions that expand together. Then many universes may indeed exist. If this is true, then nothing is more majestic and mysterious. So what is a multiverse? Stephen Hawking is the only name that comes to our mind when discussing multiverse. Multiverse theory is expanding the fact that our universe is surrounded by hundreds of billions of galaxies and countless stars, composing tens of billions of light years. There may be entirely different universes separated from our and another one and another one. The theory resolves a cosmic paradox of the late physicist's own making. It also provides ways for astronomers to find evidence of the existence of parallel universes. After the research for decades, Stephen wrote a paper in 2018, 10 days before his death, and he explained and clarified the multiverse. He also made a partnership with Professor Thomas Hertog to resolve the issue concerning the multiverse and the law of physics. Professor Thomas told BBC News that we both were not happy with that paradox scenario. He further added that it suggests that the multiverse emerged randomly and that we can't say much more about that. We said to each other, maybe we have to live with it, but we didn't want to give up. Professor Hartle worked to resolve a difficulty with Einstein's theory that suggested that the universe began almost 14 billion years ago, but said nothing about how it began. While instead, the Hawking idea is based on a different theory called quantum mechanics to explain how the universe arose from nothingness. So these different ideas of the Big Bang and quantum mechanics all came at one point. A physicist analyzed the idea that emerged that implied that the Big Bang would create not just one universe, but an endless supply. Scientists and other people started accepting this theory. Some criticized it as it seemed against their religious faith, but Hinduism favors this as they always show in their movies another birth. So for now, parallel universes are no longer just a part of good sci-fi movies and stories. There are now some scientific theories that affirm the idea of parallel universes beyond our own. However, the multiverse theory remains one of the most controversial theories in science. But is it all that's out there? Science fiction stories and movies love the idea of a parallel universe and the thought that we might be living just one of an infinite number of possible lives. Multiverses aren't reserved for Star Trek, Spider-Man, and Doctor Who though. The real scientific theory explores and in some cases supports the case for universes outside, parallel to, or distant from, but mirroring our universe. Let's move toward the second part of the video, and that is how and why Musk accepts the multiverse and favors Stephen Hawking's terrifying theories. 
So here, Elon Musk is explaining this during a long, wide-ranging, and very entertaining appearance on comedian Joe Rogan's popular podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience. If you assume any improvement rate, then games will be indistinguishable from reality, or civilization will end. One of those two things will occur, Musk said. Therefore, we are most likely in a simulation because we exist. I think most likely this is just about probability. There are many, many simulations, he added. You might as well call them a reality or you could call them multiverse. Elon also thinks we're probably trapped in a matrix like pseudo existence. The universe's age is 13.8 billion and any civilization that may have arisen throughout the cosmos have had loads and loads of time to hone their technological know-how. According to Musk, the substrate that allows the simulation to run is quite boring. At least they are more boring than the simulation itself. In discussion with Rogan, Musk further added that, why would you make a simulation that's boring? You'd make a simulation that's way more interesting than base reality. Musk said, citing the video games and movies that humanity makes, which are distillations of what's interesting about life. The eccentric billionaire entrepreneur and the young scientist are alone in this theory. As many find the simulation hypothesis compelling, they said if an advanced alien tried to produce the simulation, then theories would pop up and end thousands and millions of fake universes. All the proofs can be collected through creators to find out the truth. Indeed, the simulation idea is one of many possible explanations for the famous question, where is everybody? This question of the Fermi paradox can be answered with the help of simulation ideas. This was the ground of the whole 2.5 hour conversation between Musk and Rogan. Musk reiterated his concerns about artificial intelligence, stressed that a bright and appealing future for humanity involves exploring and settling other worlds, both in our solar system and beyond. Musk also talked at length about Tesla, the electric car company he runs. He said, we should not do this, he told Rogan. We know that sustainable energy is the end point. So why are we doing this experiment? It's an insane experiment. It's the dumbest experiment in human history. He also mentioned his plan for an electric supersonic plane that takes off and lands vertically. All the conversation goes in a light mood where they both sipped whiskey as it was a rare event for Tesla CEO. He said he almost never smokes marijuana and doesn't enjoy it because it zaps his famous productivity. It's like a cup of coffee in reverse, Musk said. I like to get things done. I like to be useful. He told Rogan that ideas are bouncing around his head all the time. It's like a never ending explosion and that he realized he was different from other people when he was just five or six years old. I thought I was insane, Musk said. As a kid, he added, he worried that authority figures might notice his strangeness and put him away somewhere. No wonder in this. We all know about Musk's inventions and struggles. He works like a superhuman, and that's why he likes out of the world theories and thoughts. Elon Musk favors and explains the Stephen Hawking terrifying multiverse theories and this is Musk who goes out of the way to accept the things and prove them. What's your thought on this? Are you ready to meet another version in another universe as Musk has a plan for an electric supersonic plane? Tell us in the comments. Also like the video and subscribe to the channel to watch more interesting content.